Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Doom Munch 7 Marco Valentine. For your information, if you can read my shirt, this is what awesome looks like, please. You're, that's obvious, you should have known that already. But, uh, I'm just here making another video. Obviously, that's why I'm on video with the camera thing right there. And, you know, that's why I'm doing my thing right now. But anyway, uh, something I just felt like doing right now. I felt like talking about those little universal moments that we all kind of have in common just these little things that happen to us that we all really go through not like big things but just like see me i'm looking at myself in the mirror off the screen like in the mirror like on the screen and that's why i keep staring off the i'm gonna just talk about things that we all kind of have in common not like big things but just little universal moments like do you ever burp and almost puke? That's the kind of thing I mean. Uh, because, like, come on, you always have that kind of burp where, like, it's a little too over so it's like, it's normally, like, a few minutes after you ate something that's, like, kind of heavy, like, maybe after you ate, like, a really greasy burger or, like, some hot dogs or something and you burp and, like, you puke just a teeny bit and you taste it. And you're like, oh god, it's so gross, but mmm, hot dog, ah, oh, with sweet relish, that's delicious. No, I'm just kidding, sweet relish is gross. I don't want sweet pickles, I want real, like, salty pickles, goddammit. Sweet relish is gross. But, uh, another thing, uh, do you ever, do you, okay, this is one that if you have not had this moment happen in your life, I am incredibly surprised and you're barely even human. Have you ever walked into a room in your house, and you can't remember why the fuck you went in there? That must have happened to you at least two million times in your life so far. Even if you're five years old, especially if you're five years old, because if you're five years old, you have an intention, you have an attention span of like 2.14 seconds. <laughs> That's not even a real statistic, but I said it anyway. Um... Do you ever... Do you ever look at your watch to check the time? And I use my right hand because I always wear my watch on my right hand. So I'm writing at school. I can just quickly, so I can just quickly glance at my watch and be like, Oh, thank God we only have this many minutes left in this fucking class. No shit. Uh, anyway. Do you ever look at your watch and then all of a sudden you forget what time it is so you have to look again? I'm not saying it happens like multiple times. It's just you look at your watch... And you have to double check it again for no reason. It's like you happen to forget it in like the second it took for you to look away from your watch. Because <laughs> these things that we all really experience at least once. Um, do you ever go down a flight of stairs and think there's one more step? No, you're just, you're like at school or you're at your house if you have a multi-level house. And like, okay, so you're up in your room, you go out. You go out of your room, let's say your kitchen house is on the middle floor, like in my house. So you go down the stairs trying to get like a snack or soda or whatever. And you slam straight into the frickin' floor. And you're like, holy crap, I swear to god there's one more step. And same thing when you're going up the steps. You swear there was just one more step. And you're going... And you're going... Oh god. And you overstep the stairs by, like, three feet. These things that happen to all of us, really. How long is this video? Like, four minutes. Okay, I'm squeezing, like, a few more things in here if I can think of any. Um... Do you ever... Are you ever... If you're... If you're someone like me... Do you ever come... Are you ever down... If you're someone like me, and it probably happens to a lot of people too, but if you're downstairs, and you're coming upstairs, like, let's say, it's like this, like, let's say hallway light is off, and you're coming from the living room upstairs, and the light is on in the living room, but you know if you leave the light on in the living room, your parents are gonna be like, now, turn off the light in the living room, there's no one in there. So, you turn off the light in the living room, so it's pitch black in there, and then you sprint all the way fuck upstairs to your well lit room and slam the door behind you. 
because you think some mass murderer like Jason or Freddy Krueger is all of a sudden gonna pop out of darkness and try to murder you. So you freaking Assassin's Creed up the freaking stairs to your safe room where you can lock your own door. Come on. That's happened to a lot of you, I guarantee. It's like these little things. Uh, let's see how the logs do. I can probably fit one more in again if I think of one. God damn. I swear to God, I was chock full of ideas before I started the video. Now I'm like totally blank. Um. Oh my God. If you're in high. If you're in high school. Or if you've ever been in high school. Or if you've ever. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm burping. Not the pukey kind of burp that I talked about at the beginning of the video. But if you've been in school in general. Have you ever been walking in the hallway. And you see one of your friends. Talking to one of his friends, and you say, "Oh, what's up, what's her face?" And like you're expecting him to be like, "Oh, hey, man," and then just keep talking to his friend, but he doesn't notice. And you walk by, and you're like, "Jeez, I hope no one saw that." People are gonna think I'm some random stalker guy saying hi to random people I don't even know. Is <laughs> the weird, that happens to me on like a daily basis? I'm walking in the hallways, and I'm like, uh, I don't know, I'm like calling out to my friend RJ, let's say. And I'm like, "Oh, what's up, RJ?" And he doesn't notice. I'm like. Oh god, that made me feel like a dumbass. Oh, please don't no one have heard me say that. <laughs> oh god, it's these, these things, you know? Um... Same thing, do you ever go to high-five someone and you totally, and either you or they totally miss. Either you forget to high-five them, and then they come back to you later on in the day. It's like, dude, I was trying to high-five you in the hallway. Yeah, just like saying hi, man. And it's like, oh, dude, sorry, I didn't see. Or it happens the other way around, and like they they don't see you. This, oh man, it's the funniest thing, and the shittiest, most awkward thing too. Um, hmm. Oh my God, something that like, are you? Have you ever crushed on someone, and you're not sure if they're taken or not? So then. Like, you're kind of coming up with a strategy so you can talk to them. But then, like, before you execute this plan of yours, you talk to your friend who knows that person. How long to do? Okay, I should end it right after this one. So you talk to your friend who knows that person better than you do. See if... And they say that they're taken. And you just give up on that entirely. You're like, nope, whoop, screw it, done. It's over. She's already taken. She or he, depending on whether you're a girl or a guy, straight or gay or bi or other or whatever. You know, I don't judge. <laughs> whatever. Whoever you want to fuck, just fuck him. I don't care. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this video's like eight minutes long, barely now. Again, if I had just stopped it right then, it would have been perfectly symmetrical. And Death the Kid can finally be happy. Okay, so I'll see you in my next video. Um, laters! Whatever that video may be, whether it's uh, one of my fuck Jado talking segments, I'm starting to run out of animes that he n normally talks about because I can't speak for the ones that I haven't seen. So I think there might be like a few more episodes left of that series. Then I'll probably start a different series. But you know, see you in my next video, whatever the hell it is. Later's. Yeah!